Where are we going that way? We have to go to hand. the hot store. I gotta go get some coolant. It's a must. I'm at this still auction. There's a warning on the truck. It's been on three times since we left the house. I believe you said three times since yesterday. Which no, means... it actually has been on three times since we left Home Depot. But okay, it started coming on yesterday. I just, I just want to put this out here. That you have the video. I said it three times since we left Home Depot. I'm indignant. Um, so. We left the house to come to Best Buy, and so far we've been to Home Depot, which is always a surprise to me. Because, your idea, though. well, we have that on video too. What we, we had to go, what I said, I just needed a case, and we could have gone to Lowe's, but we wound up at Home Depot because that's Tony's man well, store. Like Lowe's. I just wanted to get that. And that went with my other system went well already. Actually, we didn't spend that much time in there, so I was all right with it, <laughs> to be honest with you. But then we wound up at Best Buy, which is like... That was our original destination. Mm -hmm. It's like a little vacation for Tony when he goes into Best Buy, so I like to know what we're going in there for because <laughs> I don't want to look around because I like things in Best Buy, and I don't like to look at things that we're not going to get, and Best Buy has a lot of stuff. They have a lot of stuff in there. They have a lot of really cool. They don't have any Xboxes though. This is true. There are no Xboxes in Best Buy. That girl said that people were killing each other over Xboxes, Tony. Hello. So. Yeah, that's why I took toilet paper and paper towels out of the stores too. That's true. So, and now we're so heading. Again, the second time to do that Best Buy. Oh God. And now we're going to a car parts store. I'm not getting out. You and I. We're gonna sit in here together while he goes inside to the car parts store. This is like the perfect, this is like the man Aaron day. That's tomorrow. Uh, is there anything else? For today? No, oh, like for right now. Um, well, hopefully my car doesn't blow up my truck because it says coolant's needed. Can you pee in it? I saw it like on Red Dawn. Probably, but... Well, I mean... You have water right there. Drink it. Ooh. You could just put the water in if you were... But I'd just rather see him drink it and then do it the other way, like in Red Dawn. I don't think that actually works. Does it actually work? Can you actually pee in the radiator? Yeah, cool. You can pee in the radiator. that big? I know you can physically pee in it, but, like, <laughs> will it... Does it help? It puts a liquid in there, and the liquid helps take the heat away from the engine block, so it would minimally help. Okay, well, what I what I guess I guess I need to be more specific. The chemistry it. in urine will will it do the same thing if it, you peed yeah, in it? It won't. It will it will cool your engine. It just won't cool it as well, and it will freeze in the winter. Because pee freezes. Because it's not just cooling; it's anti-freeze. Mostly sugar. Oh, what? It's glycol. It's one of the primary substances in there. It's what keeps it cold. I mean, it's what keeps it from freezing. Oh my goodness! I, you know, this dry, this parking lot makes me nervous. I want to face you right out into the road so you can count traffic as it goes by. He sounds like he's doing me a favor. Does look at this? I'm pointed right out into the street. And it's a busy street, by the way. Waves of people when you know if they go by. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be out here. We're gonna be out here together. I'm gonna lock this when you oh. get out. I want to show you what I see. See if I can find a uh, coolant reservoir I can dump some coolant into because I keep getting a warning that it's low on coolant. But here's the coolant reservoir, and that looks pretty full to me. Oh no. It's 
means there's probably a sensor going bad in the truck. So. But, well, but does that mean that it's not cooling the truck off? No, it means it's cooling. It's cooling just fine. It means that there's a sensor in it that thinks there's low on coolant, but it's not. So. So you're not worried? Nope, not worried. It'll be fine. It's hot. I know it's, it's cooling. It's doing what's supposed to. Yes, I'm confident that it's working fine. It's probably just a sensor. Because what? See right there, coolant level low. Add coolant. Oops. Okay, we just did all of our shopping, and on the way home, Tony noticed that, again another coolant low warning. Is it because it's a diesel? <laughs> No, it's just normal. Okay. Well, diesels have weird sensors that go off that... Anyway. Um, you gotta put the stuff in it, or then you can't go over two miles an hour down oh, the high... Diesel exhaust load. Yeah, but nobody... Nobody talks about diesel exhaust... Which, exa since we were talking about pee earlier, is made from pee. Who's pee? Cow pee, I think. Okay. That's how it's old. I'm gonna put it on YouTube and people are gonna be like, what? I'm gonna look it up. Not when we're driving, not when we're, not when the I'm car. Not okay. So he says- Is diesel exhaust fluid made from urine? Yes, it is. Urea. Comes from cows. <laughs> it's automotive grade urea. I don't know how to get automotive grade <laughs> urea out of a cow, but. <laughs> the title of the article is Do Not Pee in Your DEF Tank. Oh, you, you're not supposed to... Well, see, I was asking earlier about peeing in the... You were like, yeah, but they mean no. They said no, don't do that. No, that's the diesel exhaust fluid. That's not the cool thing. It's two different things. Okay, so the diesel exhaust fluid has to come from a cat, not a person. Urea. 